Okay, guys, so the next one we're going to work on is the concept of stocking density. Now, very simply, stocking density is the weight of fish that you can fit into a certain amount of water. So if you look at the picture here, you could see that that, square, um, that cage would be one metre by one metre by one metre. So that cage would be one cubic metre or 1,000 litres. And into that cage are squeezed one, two, three, four, five fish and they're each over a metre long, so they probably weigh about 10 kilos. So that is 10, 20, 30, 40, fish there, 40 kilograms of fish there. 40 kilograms in one cubic metre is what we would call our stocking density of that. Now, obviously, that's far too uh, dense and not good for fish welfare. So this is how we work it out. Firstly, we're going to look at a tank again. So we're going to take a rectangular tank this time because these are easier to conceptualize. Okay, a rectangular tank that is one meter deep, is one meter wide, and two meters long. So its volume is two times one times one equals two cubic meters. Now, if we put some fish into this tank, we put four fish into this tank, and each one of those fish weighed five kilograms, we would have 20 kilograms of fish, because there's five, 10, 15, 20, in two cubic meters of water. So we want to know how much we would put in one cubic meter because that's what we measure our stocking density in. So that would be 10 kilograms of fish in every one cubic meter. Now if that tank was twice as big, we would now have four cubic meters. And if we were stocking it at 10 kilograms per cubic meter, 10 times four cubic meters equals 40 kilograms of fish. Okay, that's simply how we do it with a square tank. And it's quite the, just the same when we do a round tank or a sea cage. Because let me uh, scroll down here. A sea cage is also measured in cubic metres. So in this case, we're going to do this one in reverse. This sea cage is eight, we're, stock, we're stocking it at eight kilograms per cubic metre, and we know the fish are about 1.9 kilograms in size. So how, many, how do we work out how many fish we've got in there? So we go back to our whiteboard again, and whoops. Okay, and we're going to delete that. We now have a sea cage. Okay, sea cage is anchored to the sea floor. There's the waves. And in this cage, we've got some fish, but we don't know how many fish we've got. But we do know we've stocked this cage at eight kilograms per cubic meter. And we know that the volume of this cage is 16,000 cubic meters. And we know that our fish are two kilograms each. How many do we have in there? Well, the first thing we work out is how many fish we have in one cubic meter. Okay, so if we had one cubic meter, how many fish? Okay, eight kilograms per cubic meter. And we've got the fish are two kilograms each. Eight divided by two equals four fish in each cubic meter. Okay, but we've got 16,000 cubic meters. So in this cage, we can fit 16,000 times as many as we've got here. 
So to get the total number of fish, we multiply the volume, 16,000, times the number of fish that gets in one cubic metre, which was four, equals, what do you reckon that is? That's a pretty big number. 16,000 times four equals 64,000 fish in that sea cage. So that's how you do it. You've got the stocking density, eight kilograms per cubic meter. You've got the volume, so you know you've got 16,000 cubic meters. You know the weight of each fish, so you can work out that the, if the fish weigh two kilograms, then it's stocked at eight kilograms per cubic metre. You've got four fish in every cubic metre. And, they, and then you've got 16,000 cubic metres in your cage. So 16,000 times four is 64,000 fish in your cage.